we have a problem. President Trump may not leave office quietly if he loses the 2020 election. Admittedly, this doesn't sound likely, but it is such a serious breach of our constitution that we need to look carefully at this problem, forewarned is forearmed. The idea of Mr. Trump not leaving can be traced to the testimony of his longtime fixer and lawyer, Michael Cohen, who spoke before Congress on Wednesday, February 27, 2019. He flat out said he did not think Mr. Trump will leave quietly. Many other people who know Mr. Trump well have since echoed the same sentiment. Also looming large, is the possibility that Mr. Trump will be sentenced to jail if he is not re-elected. He is desperate to win. We therefore need to look at each of the steps in Mr. Trump failing to leave office and to prevent each step early. Step 1, the election, to stay on illegally, Mr. Trump does not have to win the election fair and square. Either he can win by cheating, or his friends can sabotage the election so badly that the institution is wrecked. Historically a presidential election has been decided in the courts. Why not have one with so much outside interference that no one can claim a victory? All that is necessary is simply for good people to do nothing. To prevent it will require an enormous effort to secure our election 14 ways from Sunday. Where is that effort? Instead, bills to secure the election are being blocked in the Senate and Mr. Trump has even publicly invited help from foreigners. Today's efforts look like an intentional plan to break the election. Step 2, National Emergency, Mr. Trump tried to call a national emergency to build his southern border wall. This was widely seen as an abuse of presidential power. There is however a real national emergency alarmingly right in our face, our climate crisis. The data for the spring of 2019 was particularly worrying. If people do not take action immediately, Earth's climate may tip from glacial cycles over to a hothouse Earth. The temperature will be 4 to 6 degrees C warmer than we are used to with little ice at the poles. A very common state throughout Earth's long history. Our climate could be tipped by a series of hot summers in the Arctic that cook methane out of the permafrost, so that the next summer is hotter still and even more methane cooks out. Once started we simply will not have the power to stop it. The Earth and life have done just fine in the hothouse mode many times. However, human civilizations will be hard pressed. Estimates for this tipping point range from 2016 to 2030. We will not be sure if we are backing away or have already passed it until we see it in our rearview mirror. To be sure, we would have to reduce the CO2 in the atmosphere from the current 411 parts per million, all the way back to about 300 parts per million as it was before the Industrial Revolution. Nobody currently even has such a plan, the Paris Accords are only a down payment. Mr. Trump's tribal plan, Mr. Trump can declare a true national emergency any day he wishes. His problem will be that he has never had any interest in the alternative energy efforts. He will never admit he was wrong about leaving the Paris Accords. He has however been actively developing a radical approach to the climate crisis from his first day in office. He will claim that the real problem is the large number of people on Earth and that it is time to let the population peak and then fall. He will then focus on black and brown people. It is true that the reduction of population will powerfully reduce the generation of greenhouse gases. It is also true that the population is currently headed toward a peak of about 10 billion about 2050 and then will fall from natural causes. The problem is that this as an approach to the climate crisis is completely unethical and blatantly racist. When did that ever bother Mr. Trump? Mr. Trump's wall is exactly the hardware needed for this plan. He will complete the wall to close off the southern border and leave the people of Central America to their fate. He will also step up deportations. He will brag that his strength is just what the country needs in this crisis, a true strong man. Others will see his actions as racist bullying and a completely inhumane plan. Mr. Trump will also argue that we need to continue burning fossil fuels because we need the cheap energy to take on big problems, like sea level rise. Once we have passed the Arctic methane tipping point, our using fossil fuels will no longer be a controlling factor. 
he will also support the super rich for their expertise in business management and support innovators to address problems in this emergency. At least, those who have been supporting him. He will depend strongly on his Russian friends. The Russians think some global warming will make them even more powerful by opening up new farmlands and shipping routes. Mr. Trump will see them as good friends in this crisis. The Canadians will need to watch the US border. Mr. Trump may wish to follow Mr. Putin's lead in developing the Arctic and annex Canada. What to do? All this is just speculation on top of speculation. Maybe I am just being paranoid. Maybe we will back off from a hothouse earth. Still we need to make sure none of this happens. To make sure Trump goes. And good riddance. What can we do? Let us take our lead from Puerto Rico. Whenever Mr. Trump makes another move that fits this plan, we need to be in the streets. When he treats immigrants like subhumans, march. When the Senate kills fair election efforts, march. Above all, Trump goes and soon. So march. Our small group, our group is firmly committed to backing off from this tipping point and building an ethical people plan. To do that we need to dump the Trump while continuing a wide variety of climate crisis actions. Our little group, the Big Moon Dig, is working on innovative ideas for a grassroots space program and to design ways to aid young people in finding their life's work that will help address our climate crisis. We have a new book out, see below, which uses short stories as an educational aid, narrative thinking and storytelling for problem solving in science education. We have also written a TV or web production screenplay, Summer is Coming. Please contact us, see below, if you are interested in any of these projects or have ideas on a society for a sustainable hothouse earth. Enjoy, Janet A. and Tom Riley The Big Moon Dig.